Hey, welcome to another guided meditation. And in this session, we'll look some more at this state of samadhi, which is like a flow state that you can enter in and even remain as you move about. So this will be kind of moving meditation after we get started. Please make sure there's a little bit of space in front of you where you can begin to move about. You don't need too much room for this at all, but just some, some place you can stand up. And I want to talk a little bit more about a research study that I mentioned in the last training. It was by Josipovich et al. in 2012. So again, what the study found is it, it looked at 22 advanced Tibetan Buddhist practitioners who were doing a practice similar to what we're doing here. And they were able to balance out these two networks of the brain that are normally anti-correlated, which means when one is active, the other is quiet, the other is offline. And, and vice versa. So these two networks are the default mode network, which is associated with mind wandering and self-referential thinking, being lost in our thoughts. And then there's the task positive network, which is active when we're kind of engaged in a task. So throughout the day, the brain is often toggling between these two modes. We're either like the doer or we're the thinker, doer, thinker, doer, thinker. And in the samadhi, we can start to stabilize so that these tasks, even as we're moving about, we don't become fully merged with them. There's a kind of meta-awareness that's just observing. And that observing meta-awareness, when it's continuously present, is what I mean by samadhi here. All right, so let's get started on the meditation. You can make yourself comfortable in a sitting posture to start with an upright spine, if that's possible for you. And just take a little time to relax from the top of your head, relaxing all the muscles in your head area, in your neck and shoulders. Scanning down your body, releasing any tension. Then I'll invite you to sit enjoying for a minute. You can put on a small smile. And just sitting there with nothing to do. Often, even when we meditate, we try to do all sorts of things with our mind. Now is a chance to just be a human being. And then you can kindle this positive emotion, this time to bring up the positive feeling, we're going to use the memory of something kind that you've done, an act of generosity or some time that you helped another, however small. Could have just been smiling at someone or doing them a favor. That was a beautiful thing that you did. Sink into that feeling from remembering a time where you helped someone. And let that feeling pervade your body. It could even just be knowing that you're taking this time to be kind to yourself. This is an act of generosity towards yourself now and all those that you'll interact with. It's 
So whatever it is that gets that positive feeling flowing, then you can just begin to surf it. Let the wave build. Let that warm, joyful feeling fill up your entire experience. And then using the four R's when the meta-awareness disappears, when you're lost in thought, You recognize release like opening a fist, relish, relish. You can go back to the memory if needed, or just come back to the feeling if it's still there. And then remain, remain with that feeling. Now simply sit back and watch like you're watching a movie. All you have to do is step out of it with the four R's if you forget that you're sitting in the movie theater. If you get lost in the contents of the movie, which are your thoughts. And then over time, with mental repetition as you bring back your mind skillfully over and over with the four R's, as you release the tension in your mind and body, you may notice that the mind stabilizes at some point. It's like the mind is effortlessly aware on its own and it's happy just sitting there content, enjoying the positive feeling. And now our challenge here is to bring this samadhi, even if it's a little unstable still, we'd like to bring it into all four major postures. So assuming you're sitting right now, you can gently open your eyes, maintaining a soft gaze, and stand up. And this is the standing posture. You can continue to use the four R's if your meta-awareness slips. Now, all of these postures, assuming you have the mobility, you can just begin to walk back and forth. And so here you want to make sure there's nothing you would trip on. But then it's best if you don't look here and there. You just keep your eyes kind of softly gazing towards the floor and walk back and forth, staying with the positive feeling staying in that collected mind. And just putting in the bare minimum energy to remain aware of home base, that positive feeling. Nice job. And then finally come back and lie down if you can. 
and you can spend the rest of the session lying on the floor if that works for you. All right, great work here. So feel free to keep meditating. And if you're ending your session, you can check in with your mind and notice what you learned. And about how long were you able to stay with this positive feeling? And then as you go about the rest of your day, just try to remember as often as possible to use the four R's, also to and generate these good, positive, kind acts towards others that will be the fuel for samadhi. Now we'll talk in the lesson about how that works on a macro level, how our actions can actually fuel these, this state of mind to remain with it longer. Thank you for taking the time to train your mind.